Hey, welcome back to the channel. So there are a ton of great video editors for Linux. A lot of them are free and open source like Kden Live, and those are fantastic, but they lack GPU acceleration. So when you're doing things like scrubbing through the timeline, trying to play back at full resolution or doing transitions, color correction, stuff like that, it can get extremely slow. Now, if you only want to use free and open source software, those are fantastic. There's ways to kind of work, work around some of that slowness. But if you want something that's much more robust and professional grade software, I'm going to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve on Endeavor OS. Now there are two versions of DaVinci Resolve. There's a free version and there's a paid studio version. There's many more capabilities in that paid studio version, but the free version is uh, usable. You just might have to jump through a few more hoops to get done what you want to get done. Um, the caveat here is that I'm only going to show this for NVIDIA users. There's a way to get DaVinci Resolve to work on AMD GPUs, but you lose some functionality with uh, AMD and it's a little more complicated to get that going. So I'm going to show you the basic install for NVIDIA cards here. Now, if you are installing the studio version, you want to make sure that you watch until the end because there is an issue that may keep you from activating the software with your activation code, but I'm gonna show you how to work around that so that you can get fully activated. Now I'm taking this tutorial from the perspective that you're relatively new to Endeavor OS. If that's not the case and you have more experience, use whatever installation method you want here. But for new users, there is no graphical package manager that's included in Endeavor OS. Now there, there are some command line installers, but you have to know exactly what you're looking for for those. And that's kind of confusing to newer users. So the first thing we're gonna do is install a command line package manager called PackSeq. So go out to your terminal on whatever desktop environment you're using and type in yah minus i PackSeq, P-A-C-S-E-E-K. There's gonna be three different versions here. There's the AUR, number one is the AUR PackSeq. Number two is the AUR PackSeq bin. And number three is AUR PackSeq git. We're gonna go ahead and just hit number one to get AUR PackSeq. We're gonna hit enter, enter, and then type in our password and then hit yes to proceed with the installation. And that's it, it's installed. We can close this down. And now if we go out to our menu and type in PackSeq, we can see it's in there and we're gonna launch it up. I absolutely love this application. It's deceptively simple, but extremely powerful and really helps you find uh, what you're looking for much easier without the bloat of a graphical one. So PackSeq is where it's at for me. So we're gonna type in DaVinci-Resolve. Now I mentioned that there's two versions of DaVinci Resolve, the free one and the paid one, but we're seeing four here. And that's because these, this includes the beta version. So we have DaVinci Resolve free, DaVinci Resolve beta, DaVinci Resolve studio and studio beta. Now I'm gonna be installing the studio version, but if you want the free version, just select this one up here. The installation process is exactly the same. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. So here you can kind of have to know what graphics card you have and what you're running against it. Since I mentioned, I'm really only showing for NVIDIA users in this tutorial. I can do an AMD tutorial if anybody wants, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit number three. We're gonna choose the OpenCL NVIDIA. So let's hit number three. And then we can just hit number one. Uh, this is asking what Java runtime we want. So we'll just do the JDK, open JDK, and then we'll hit no. No. Now this is gonna take a little while because it's downloading the uh, zip file from the DaVinci Resolve site. It's gonna extract it, do the installation, and um, then install it for you. And it does take a little while. You can see here that we're gonna to have to put our password in. Here it's showing you some dependencies that you uh, need to do the, make this installation work. So we're gonna hit yes to make sure we have those dependencies and then just let it run through here. If yours takes a little bit longer, don't worry about it. I've actually installed it on this computer before, so I have a lot of these dependencies already, and it all depends on your internet connection, how long it takes to download the file, how fast your CPU is. So 
don't necessarily judge it by how long it's taken here. Just be patient and uh, let this do its thing. So with that in mind, I am gonna let this run and then uh, come back when it's all complete. All right, just wanted to show this. All the prep work is done now, so it's asking us if we wanna proceed with the installation. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, it's gonna take a little while, let it run, and uh, I'll come back again when this is all complete. Okay, so it's all installed and it brings us back to PackSeq once it's complete. So we can just go in here, hit escape to exit, and now we can launch. DaVinci Resolve. Now, usually the first time you launch this, it uh, brings up a white screen and then you have to kill that and launch it again. So we'll see what happens here. So I'm gonna launch DaVinci Resolve. It's in our application menu here. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about. It's just a blank screen. So we're just gonna go and close that. We're gonna terminate it. And then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, well, came up for us. So because I'm doing the studio version, uh, it's asking for the activation key. If you're doing the free version, you don't have to do this step, but I wanna show you this because this is what I was talking about with the activation where uh, there may be an issue actually activating your key. So I'm gonna put my key in here. And of course I'm blanking this out so you can't see my key, but we're gonna try to activate it. And I don't know if you can see this, I'll try to zoom in, but it says there was an error while attempting to perform this activation. So we can't activate it right now, even though that's a valid key. So I'm just gonna quit out of here and I can't take credit for this find. I actually found it on Reddit. It's a user named Beta Quasi. So thank you Beta Quasi for pointing this out uh, on Reddit, but we're gonna go out to terminal again and we're gonna go to opt resolve and then the problem is if we look at these files there is a uh, dot license file so it's trying to write to this dot license file and it's owned by root which is if you're not familiar it's kind of like uh, an administrator account and we are not root we're running it as just a user account so what we need to do is change the permissions on that dot license file so we're going to type in sudo which lets us run this as the super user shown dollar sign user make sure it's in caps colon dollar sign group again in caps and then we're going to do opt resolve dot license and if you see me um Auto completing here, I'm just typing .lic and then hitting tab to complete it. Again, for you people that are more experienced, bear with me, I'm doing this for, for newer people. If we do it as, uh, if we look at this again, so type in ls minus al, we can see that the license file is now owned by me. So I should be able to write to it. So let's try that out. Launch resolve again, and I'm gonna copy my password or my registration, paste it in here, activate. Now we can see it's activating the license. I've used all my activations, so it's clearing them out for me because you get two activations per license. And if you use those, it clears it out and uh, activates whatever machine you're trying to activate at the time. All right, it cleared that out. It's activating now and it was successful. So now we can start DaVinci Resolve and um, when you first launch it, it's asking you to optimize this DaVinci Resolve uh, neural engines. Go ahead and do that. Just a word of warning. This takes a very, very long time. So hit optimize and then just go to bed and uh, it'll be done in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then uh, end the video here. So that's all there is to the installation. Again, that is, except for the registration part, it's the same for the free version or the studio version. It works really, really well. There are some limitations with DaVinci Resolve uh, on Linux compared to Windows or Mac. Uh, very specific things like MP4s, the audio that's embedded in MP4s will not play natively on here. So I have a script to just convert those MP4s to MOVs. Hopefully you found this useful or informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it and uh, you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments on anything, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you wanna see how to install this on other distributions like Ubuntu or Fedora, let me know that as well. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.